really not going far. Today's just to get back on trail day. And I have two beers that I want to enjoy. That's a pawpaw fruit. I've been wondering and guessing that a pawpaw fruit is something completely different ever since somebody mentioned it to me. But now I know that's a pawpaw tree. So there's some pawpaw fruit. I'm going to whack them with my walking stick. These might not be ripe because I'm having a hard time getting them out of the tree. There they go. Okay. So these don't look ripe. But again, that's pawpaw fruit. So now I know what I'm looking for. Uh, you can actually feel that texture there. This one's not going to be ripe either. This one isn't ripe, so I'm not going to mess with it. But that is the inside. I guess that is just like a custard pear type of texture. So at any rate, if I find a ripe one, I'll give that a try because I like pears and I don't mind a good custard. There's someone in a kayak on the other side of the river. This is a really nice river walk along the James River today. So the trail goes right alongside it for however long. You can't camp for a mile, so I'm guessing maybe a mile. But I was on the other side. You can hear the traffic maybe. And there's a road that runs parallel to the river on the other side into Glasgow. And that's where I was yesterday. But you can't see down as much and it's not fun to walk on the road. But today, on the trail, looking out at the river, coming across kayakers and pawpaw fruit. Just what a difference. Yesterday was a great day, and Glasgow was a good town. I've mentioned that before, and I've already said I've had a few challenges in the morning yesterday, and today could have been challenging. Um, the weather was against me yesterday. It was hotter walking in, and on the road, it's hotter. But just walking out this morning, I could tell it was a little cooler. There was more shade. The sun was hidden behind the clouds. Temperature's probably not as high. A lot of good swimming spots. I won't rule it out today. I'm leaning towards not swimming just because for the moment, most of my stuff is dry. What I'm wearing will be wet later. So maybe I'll go swimming in what I'm wearing. But what I plan to wear tomorrow is dry. And dry clothes has been a rarity because the heat temperature and index have been extremely up 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 lately and I feel like it's just in the high 80s maybe 94 days to come so so we'll see I won't rule out swimming but right now I'm not planning on it I'm planning on stopping early whenever wherever having those two beers and who knows if there's a good swimming hole maybe now here's one of these guys with the blue tail. This is like what I was seeing in New York. Not quite what I was seeing the last couple of days. They're a different type of lizard. It looked more like a crocodile or a frog. This guy's got stripes like a snake and a blue tail. And he's just sunning himself on this branch. And if I made him move, he is lightning fast. I might make a move just to show you guys how fast he is. So here we go. I just got this out of a tree. It's ripe. It's juicy. I pulled three seeds out of it. It looks like there's another one in there. 99% sure this is pawpaw fruit. I'm going to take a small bite out of it. So we'll see how it tastes. If it tastes like custard and pears, then I'll be 99.9% .9 sure. Um, if I die and anyone finds my phone, this is probably what killed me. And there was a gentleman in West Virginia talking about this in a shelter, saying I could just pick it up off the ground and eat it. I got this out of a tree, so we'll see. Considering how long it took me to eat blackberries off the bush and a, a professor had to explain to me that it was okay and beg me to do it. It's kind of a surprise that I'm just gonna eat this, but. We'll see. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know how ripe this one is. I'm not really getting pears. But it's not bad. It doesn't taste poisonous. And I don't know if things that are poisonous taste poisonous, but see if I can't find a riper one. I've walked by dozens of these things. From what I understand, the farther I go south, the more I'll see them. And 
if they get more ripe and they taste even better and they're free, I'll eat them. Lord knows I need more fruit in my diet. So I can't imagine I'm the first, first person to ever do this, but if I am, this is now a thing. Devil's Backbone, Cyborg, Brain Juice, Dank IPA. Pretty sure I had one of these in Shenandoah. But courtesy to my new friend, Dan, who picked me up and gave me a ride out of Glasgow down Route 501 and gave me three beers. I'm going to cold soak my ramen noodles in however much dank IPA this is, and then I'll drink the rest, and we'll see how cold it still is or how warm it is. But that is gonna be delicious and nutritious. Carb loading for tomorrow. I really didn't do too much. I mean, I don't know when I stopped. It's 4.30 now. I could have been up here for an hour, but I also haven't been hustling at all. I am at a tent site i have a little bit of a view of some of the james river it's dried up down there not a lot of flow but i can see the rocks so i assume that's the james river and there i am uh trails right there literally right down there you can see it better there i am five feet ten feet from the trail and a little fire circle here i added to it so there was a fire circle but i reinforced a little bit and i collected some fire wood gonna try to start a fire without So it's Tuesday, August 30th. At the end of the day, it'll be the end of 11 weeks for me out here. The last five or six days have really just been amazing. And just the fog and the sun and the trees, and you know, I've said it before, this is like walking in a token book. I mean, this is Middle Earth. So I stopped up here to put my bug net on. When you see this, I'm unhappy. Not that I care. The trail isn't fashion, but this just covers my ears and keeps the bugs out of my ears and I can go shields down if I have to. Shields up, 25% shields. I was just walking down the trail and I was thinking, I get it, Virginia is a long ass state. It's over 500 miles, but I hear about the Virginia blues and I'm going south, so I'm not even halfway through, but <laughs> this spot right here near the James River, I don't know how you can get tired of hiking in Virginia. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. I believe that's the Apple Orchard Mountain. So not sure, but that's pretty high. And it does seem like I'll head down the trail and then wrap around up that sucker right there. And then maybe down and then back up. And that could be the Apple Orchard Mountain. I doubt there's something higher than that that I can't see on the other side of it. So that kind of makes sense to me. Really clear day. They're predicting rain around 2. It's 1040 now. That gives me just over three hours. But maybe I'll <laughs> be lucky. I'll just be above all the rain. So this is so beautiful. I have to get the view of where you get the view. Um, beautiful stone steps and a little overlook. So this is Thunder Ridge. And I've said it three or four times. I'm going to say it again, and I'm not going to stop saying it. Virginia, you are doing it right. This is stunning, and especially today. So I did get rained on. I was not above the rain. In about 15 minutes, I got soaked, and then it just kind of backed off, tapered off a little bit.
It was beautiful before the rain and it's just a little bit different. What are the chances this thing isn't poisonous? It looks like the most evil mushroom on the most dangerous level in Mario. So I was looking at far out and I saw the guillotine. I don't know if I would call this the guillotine. I mean, I get it. It's definitely medieval. I'm putting an awful lot of faith in these two rock formations to the left and the right to hold that one rock up while I cross under there, even though it's only going to take me a second. What's up, buddy? You getting some sun? Oh, you are a handsome boy. Oh, don't be shy. I just want to get a close up. <laughs> 